you think? What's happening, everybody? Good morning. It's Saturday, September 9th, 9 2017. And I'm headed over to the club to go do uh, some videography for an event that's going on today. So today is the zombie shoot. And uh, I don't know if I'll be doing much vlogging while I'm there. If anything, I'm probably going to be shooting a lot of video on my good camera and stuff for, um, you know, professional type purposes. Uh, but uh, it should be pretty cool. I don't know what the premise is with this thing. So, with the the whole zombie shoot, you know, you can't have people like live action zombies dressed up. So, I'm not exactly quite sure what what's going on. But uh, I guess we're gonna find out here soon. Um, so not much else is going on. I got the car all packed up. I got a cooler. I got my camera gear, special bags, all that crap. And uh, yeah, I should be there for a little bit late, about 8.20 a.m. And uh, yeah, it's about low 60s in terms of temperature right now. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I've never really, you know, specifically went out and shot video like this. But um, at uh, Shutterfest, I did a, a class on it. I think that was, was that two years ago? Yeah, yeah, two Shutterfests ago. But, uh, I mean, technically it was like a year and a half ago. But, um, so, I mean, it is what it is. I'll, I'll figure it out. So, that's about it for now. Stay tuned for more. All right, so it appears as if I'm like mega late. So, it's almost 8.20. And I can see just the absolute immense setup that they have as I'm driving in from afar. This is going to be crazy. So it's probably not going to show up on camera, but I can see all the cars glistening. The sun catching up. Looks like they have massive tents set up. Um, just all kinds of stuff going on. Um, I just remember that one guy said that they have like a vendor's area. Vendors can set up um, shop and stuff, so it's gonna be um, madness. So try to have some fun here and uh, stay tuned for more. As long as they are unloaded, magazine out, hammer down, and chamber empty. Holstered revolvers are permitted as long as they are unloaded, hammer down, and cylinder empty. All holsters must be commercially manufactured, securely hold the firearm, and completely cover the trigger. No firearms may be handled anywhere except on a supervised shooting stage. Alright, so uh, it's uh, about 11 o'clock or so. Day is going well. It's nice and breezy out. Uh, not too hot, not too cold. And uh, I've been shooting probably about two hours, maybe three hours, handheld uh, monopod video and audio. I'm going to try breaking up this bad boy. The only problem is it's a little bit windy. So we're going to see how well this works here. Funny thing is, I can actually hear a drone flying overhead right now, so I'm going to have to be careful, but uh, I think we'll be alright. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Alright, so I'm just doing like a generic pass over everything, the whole compound. So I got my remote and monitor here, it's probably not going to show up. The drone is above me, and uh, as I walk, it's following me or walking with me, just above me. So, this is working, it's a little bit windy. So, we'll see. Okay, so this uh, stage here, there's two shooter boxes and it's a race. So they're starting typically from the center and shooting out. So there's uh, five targets each and everyone's been basically doing pistols and racing. So the first to get all five down, they're just steel targets. And it looks really fun. Uh, this stage is a three gun stage. So on the left is a shotgun, in the middle is a handgun, and the right is a rifle. Get 
some drop down, knock down targets, some steel in the middle. And then over here you got some clays. Go ahead, load mitt ready. This stage is run and gun. I think it's all handgun. This stage has a door that you have to breach or enter. Alright, so, uh, so far so well. Shot a ton of video. And I'm headed back to the car. I'm getting tired carrying around all this gear, all this stuff. Crawling around a little bit to get the shots. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break. Maybe get in the car, maybe even start it up, cool down for a minute. But beautiful day out here. Sun's shining. And uh, these are the back uh, bays or whatever. So there's four of them back here. And then they also have some more over here. They're not using them today, but there's at least another four over there. So, very cool, very cool. This big mountain, that's the back of the 600 yard range. And this road leads to where the firing line is. Very cool. All right. So what do you think, guys? Quite a bit of fun, huh? I will say I just saved myself a bunch of money by volunteering versus shooting today. It was uh, $80 for admission, and then you had to bring all your own ammo. Uh, I heard some people say they shot four to 500 rounds. Um, the crazy quail? That was that machine that was throwing the clays everywhere in the air and stuff, and the guys were shooting with the shotguns. They were um, letting you use their shotguns if you wanted. And they had um, X-Fire modded shotguns. Excuse me. They hold 25 rounds. And they, uh, which is a box of shells. And you could shoot through them, I think he said in like five seconds if you wanted to. Like if you wanted to just rapid fire, you could empty that thing all 25 rounds in like five seconds. Um, 12 gauge, that probably would kill your shoulder though if you did it that fast. But uh, very cool, very unique um, machine. You know, I had heard someone, uh, they, they mentioned it talked about it but I'd never seen it before so and I couldn't remember the name because I wanted to google it and kind of check it out and see what it was I bet you there's a way to turn that thing up to like full speed and it would be just insane there'd be clays going everywhere <clears throat> so I think they said it holds almost 2,000 clays on that entire trailer setup and the thing is just it's amazing. 
it's, it's just so cool to see. So the dude had a semi truck with a special custom printed trailer to carry that beast. And uh, I don't know, they must have had at least two pallets worth of clay. The, the, the thing holds one pallet worth, which is like six feet by four feet, six feet tall by four feet square pallet of uh, clays. Unreal, man. I, I was able to get in for some close photo shots and stuff of the thing and stuff, but I don't know. The, the video and all that's fun. I, I probably should have piped the video right into my camera. Now I'm going to have to go back and sync the audio to the video clips and stuff. Something like that I want to learn how to do and all that, but um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't just plug it right into the damn camera. That's what I should have done. So, uh, when I got there, I asked the guy, I'm like, what do you want me to do? Because he was like, oh, make sure you see me. I have some specific stuff. If you just go running around videoing and whatever, it's not going to help me. So, so I went up to him and he's like, hey, I need like B-roll footage. And I was like, okay. He's like, you know, like stuff for like the safety brief and all that. And I was like, oh, okay. So he's like, I want, you know, somebody uh, safely carrying a, a a shotgun and somebody um, safely you know unholstering a pistol or drawing a pistol and stuff and it's like okay I, all right so uh that's kind of what i did but um i don't know you know it is what it is i don't know what he's doing so um man there are some complete badasses there the amount of gear Long guns, short guns, handguns. Fucking, there was guys carrying knives and shit. One guy had a tactical vest with a knife on his back. And, uh, go ahead. So, it was very interesting. I mean, there was, there was leg holsters. There was, um, gun belts. There was chest rigs. Um, people had communication systems on, that they are carrying around with them. Uh, backpacks. Drag bags. You name it, they had, I saw one guy, uh, well, more than one guy, but they had golf uh, bags, like rolling golf cart, or golf bags, that typically hold golf clubs, they had shoved all their long guns into that son of a bitch, so it was just funny seeing, like, where you normally put, like, the golf umbrella, they had a shotgun shoved in that pocket, so, very cool, um, it looked like a lot of fun, it looked like just everyone was enjoying it, everyone had a great time. Um, I probably could have or should have gone around and gotten like some interviews of people talking about their experience doing it and stuff, but, um, I didn't really, I don't know, I was getting tired, man, just, you know, I ended up walking around for like the last hour or two, just shooting stills and stuff, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool, but beyond that, man, I don't know. So I made it back to Vicky's. We were possibly gonna go see Lateralis tonight. Lateralis is a tool cover band. And if we do go that route, then I'm gonna probably have to shower. I'm gonna have to shower regardless. But I still got the entire car packed up with all my stuff, gear, trunks, hole, and all that. I wonder if I'm sunburned, I feel sunburned, baked. But um, yeah, I'm gonna cut this short, I'm tired, so stay tuned for more.